They call you. Yes. Um, yeah, I've been watching the show since season one, so I've been an avid viewer of the show, and I was thrilled to get the phone call. I'm always the one yelling and cheering and crying on the other side watching the show, so it'll be really exciting and nice to be on the other side of the TV. A lot of top secret stuff happens at Dragon's Den, so I'm not sure. I got the call on a Thursday afternoon, and if I could um, fly down and do a screen test on Monday, and um, I flew down on two days later on Sunday afternoon, and Monday morning I was in studio um, doing an hour and a half screen test, which entailed watching six pitchers who had actually been on this season, most of them. If you were the one doing the pitching, and at the same time, you were the one, you were the dragon in the chair. Right. Would you have bought your body into your own business? Hmm. How would you have responded to yourself? Probably not. Probably not early on, just because the beer business is such a highly competitive business. And my initial thought would have been, how are you going to separate yourself? And in the end, this is real. It is the definition of reality TV. It is our money that we're investing. It's not the CBC's. It's not anybody else's money. It's our personal money we're investing into these businesses. So it's absolutely real. And everything to do with it would be like I would be talking to somebody who came to pitch me sitting in my brewery, not only if it was on TV.